Karen Ann Quinlan, the young New Jersey woman who fell into a coma 45 years ago and her family's successful court struggle to set her free, gave us all the right to die with dignity. The landmark case also established today's medical ethics boards and living wills. Karen Ann Quinlan Hospice is celebrating 40 years of serving our community, helping terminally ill patients celebrate every moment of life. I am Georgia Quinlan, the co-founder of the Karen Ann Quinlan Hospice in memory of my beloved daughter, Karen Ann. Well, hospice was not well known back in 1975. And my husband and I were encouraged to write a book about our experience, which we weren't sure that we wanted to do to share our personal life with them, because we're very, very private people. But then we said if we do, we'll use the money in order to help other people. The organization, we started off small. If we had maybe three or four patients, we were very fortunate because it was a new concept of care. And of course, now today, we can have as much as 100 patients that we care for in a day. And then, of course, we have the beautiful home for hospice where we care for the patients, too. We are one of the very few independent, not-for-profit hospice. When we first started our program, the emphasis was on dying, but today it is on living. It is living your life for whatever time you have left. Hospice is my life's dedication. I've been volunteering ever since before day one when we established the hospice. I will continue volunteering for as long as I can and probably beyond that. <laughs> Even if they have to wheel me in or carry me in, I will still do it because it is my life. It is my life, and uh, it's Karen's life. It's Karen's life. The hospice is so much a part of my family's life, and so I just keep going and going and going. You know, I'm okay. <laughs> and here are a few words from our valued community partners and 40th anniversary gala presenting sponsors. My name is Ray Quartz. I am a Senior Vice President with Lakeland Bank, and I am one of Lakeland Bank's Business Development Officers. Lakeland Bank's association with Karen and Quinlan Hospice actually started with the National Bank of Sussex County. In 1982, Lakeland Bank started the Sussex County Golf Classic, and Karen and Quinlan Hospice was one of our primary, actually was our only beneficiary for two or three years. The relationship has been strong because there's such a need for hospice in, in the communities that Lakeland serves and they're a team player. A standout moment for me being part of Karen and Quinlan Hospital. I can tell you what I really enjoy doing. I enjoy the annual wine and cheese event at the Waterwheel Farm in Frieden. Uh, I've been the auctioneer there for, it's got to be at least eight to ten years now and it's just a great event to see so many people come together for a great cause like Karen and Quinlan Hospice and uh, people reaching into their pockets to help support the organization. I know of many of our uh, customers and my, a lot of my associates and my friends uh, they have had family members that have gone through the the hospice program through Karen and Quinlan Hospice and uh, they can't say anything other than exceptional service and care. Hi my name's Paul Owens I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Newton Medical Center and Hackettstown Medical Center, part of the Atlantic Health System. I thank you so much for asking me to say a few words about Atlantic Health and Newton Medical Center and Hackettstown Medical Center and their relationship to Karen Ann Quinlan at the occasion of their 40th anniversary. Uh, it's certainly a very proud, a long and proud relationship that we've had with Karen Ann Quinlan and I'm um, so happy to be able to celebrate this with all of you today. Uh, back when Karen Ann Quinlan first started their hospice in 1980, they started it right here at Newton Medical Center, which was then Newton Memorial Hospital. And we've been part of that journey every step of the way. We, uh, our relationship with Karen Ann Quinlan and its dedicated staff and volunteers has these deep roots that uh, continue to grow to this very day. We, we have such a need for these hospice services in Sussex County and Warren County, and we are proud to be a sponsor of the 40th Anniversary Gala. Thank you. Please join us on April 18th at Perona Farms as we celebrate 40 years of serving Sussex County. We will pay special tribute to Julia Quinlan, our co-founder, CEO, 
and a true pioneer of the hospice movement. More information is available on our website at karenandquinlanhospice.org gala.